Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to create data uh, in BigQuery. So we've had a look at going to the public data set, which is here, which is all these data sets here. But how do we create our own data? So the first thing I'm going to do is I have a project here, but I just want to show you how to create a new project. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say new project. And we can just call this project uh, creating data. So you can have up to 25 uh, projects. So I think I have 22 left in my quota here. So I'm going to create this. And when this is created, I can go in and select the project. So I can either click select the project here, or I can go up here and select a project, right? So I have this project now called creating data. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this data set here, um, which is the daily coffee price. Um, so I've downloaded this from Kaggle and I'm going to put it up on my BigQuery. So what to do here is that we will create first a data set and the data set is like a database in normal, um, in normal uh, SQL programs. So you would create a database and then you create tables inside a database. So what we're doing here is we're creating a data set and that data set's going to be called coffee. And then you can do a location here of where you want this data set. So I can have this in EU and you can enable table expiry and you can say, right, I want it to expire in 10 days or you can do whatever you want in there. Um, I would just leave this as is. I don't really mess with this at all. And I will create the data set. And now under creating data project, I have a, I have a data set called coffee. And within coffee, I can then go and create a table within there. So now I can say where I want my table to come from. Either I can do an empty table, Google Cloud Storage, which is going to be in, a, in one of your buckets, uh, upload something from your drive, something from Big Table, and then from the other two clouds here, Amazon S3 and, and Azure Blob Storage. So I'm going to upload this and I'm going to go in and select a file. So I have my copy CSV here. I'm going to open this. And then down here, we're saying where we want our project, what the data set is. So the data set is coffee. And this is going to be my coffee. Uh, it's going to be my coffee data set. And then what you can do is you can auto detect the schema. So I can either add a scheme in here or I can auto detect the schema itself and the schema will be automatically generated. And there's a couple of advanced options here. So this is really when you're appending or anything like that. So you can append, you can overwrite, that will overwrite any existing table. You can append to a table which will union on the data at the end of it. But I'm just gonna go right if empty. And important thing is to have the header row skipped because that's where my, um, that's where my columns are. So I'm going to skip that header row and I'm just going to go create my tables now. So this loads up the table. And as you can see, I have my coffee data set here and I have date, open, high, low, close, volume and currency um, and a preview of the first couple of rows. So this is my table in here. The schema has auto generated all of these things. These look right in terms of, of um, the data and the schema. Um, but what we can do is we can go in and edit that if we want. So we can go back in and kind of edit the schema. If we want um, new fields, we can put them in. Let's close that up. So that's the first new table we've created. And now I'm going to show you another way of creating a new table. So this is the coffee data set. And I want to create a table from this table. And I'm just going to change this to coffee data set query I'm looking at the closing price and I want for each year to extract a max min and average from that then group that by year and order that by year so this is kind of my aggregated data set I'm going to start by running the query and then create a table from it I can run this and this is my data set in here so I've, this is just a query so what I've done is I've just created a query I've, this is my data set. I've created this from the data set I created. And now what I want to do is make this a table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the same script 
but I'm going to add a line at the top and this will create a new table on my data set. So I'm just going to run this and this takes a little bit of time, but now I have a new table that I've created from that table I've uploaded and that's coffee aggregated in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is just create a blank table with, with a script, creating a table in creating data. So creating data again in coffee, I want to create a data a data set called coffee suppliers and just run it. So I'm going to create a table with a person ID as an int last name as a string. First name is a string and quantity bought as a string. And this is now created a coffee suppliers table. So another way to start a table in here. So if I wanted to, and I can't do this in the, if I wanted to, I can do an insert statement. It won't let me do this because of the, um, I'm on the free trial. So it's a sandbox. It doesn't let you do this. But if I want to insert into a table, I can insert into the super data world coffee, coffee suppliers table under these queries here and these values. But we can't do this because, as I said, Billen has not been enabled from the project. No, another way to create a blank table is just to create a table in here. Create an empty table. Table name, we'll just call it employees. And we can just add the schema in here. So we can add a field in here. So I can just say name is a string. This is required. You can put a max length if you want. And then you can put ID in here. And that's required in there. And that's another string. And we can just put role in there. And that's nullable. And then we can just put a email in here as well. And again, we're just creating a table. This is my employee table now. So what I've showed you today is four distinct ways to create a table within BigQuery. Hope you found this video useful and I'll catch you next time for another BigQuery tutorial.